What's happening guys? It's Jeremy and I'm back with another recipe. Tonight we're gonna test something out. Um, I bought these steaks. They are boneless beef chuck steaks. It says they're great for grilling, um, but they were uh, 617 for two of them. So I'm gonna just throw these on the Blackstone and we're gonna cook them up and see what happens. So I've got the Blackstone right now on high on this side. I only need two burner stages. I could really probably do it with one, but I have two just to make sure I have a nice hot spot. So we're getting it nice and hot over here, letting it get piping hot. I want this thing to be blazing. Um, so we got it all basically ready to go. So we're gonna put just a little bit of oil here. Let's see how this thing does with $3 steaks. Thin, so they're not going to take that long to cook and I'm just going to season them really simple but here we go I'm just kind of pressing on a little bit to make sure I get a nice sear oh yeah this is going to be good and for seasoning tonight just some sea salt and pepper Man, they smell good already. So we're just gonna let these go for about 30 seconds to a minute. Then we're gonna flip them over, sear the other side, put a little salt and pepper on, and they should be done. Cause I like my steaks on the medium rare side. Make sure it has a knife. I'm just going to let it even sit on it. Sit there. Just sit. So one of the downsides to cooking on this Blackstone is that you smell all the amazing flavors coming out of it, and it makes you want to eat it. You get excited to flip things too soon, and then you don't have things done the way you want them. So i got to have patience here. Here. Oh yeah, I think we're ready. So let's try this first one. Not quite as much sear as I want, so I'm gonna let the other one sit for another minute. In this one a while. I guess you could say I'm a little bit of a purist with my steaks. Salt and pepper. Keep it simple. Alright, so let's try flipping this other one now. Oh yeah, that one's looking good. Maybe I should have brought my burger smasher out. That would help keep a nice flat contact as well. I'm not smashing it down to cook all the juices out. I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on it just to keep it firm on the griddle. And uh, I'm done with the heat. That was simple.
that looks done. Oh yeah. Let's check out that seal. That, my friends, is it. I'll be back in just a minute and we're gonna try these out. So normally when you cook a steak, you gotta let it rest for a little while so that the juice didn't go back in, but I gotta be honest, it smells too good. I gotta test it right now. now like I said, $3 steak. I paid $6 for both of these. Let's see how they taste. Mm. Great flavor. Texture, it's a little tough, but I didn't expect it to be much more than that. It's a $3 steak. But anyway, it was delicious, and uh, Blackstone does an amazing job with those steaks. So go try one out. If you find some cheap steaks and want to have a good meal, go for it, man. Throw it on the Blackstone and cook it up. Have a great one. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hey, Hit that bell. Subscribe so you can come back and check out all the stuff we're going to do in the future. Catch you later. Bye-bye.